We're going to throw another piece now, Randy and I, each putting sodium silicate on the surface and then stretching the clay, which gives you a really interesting texture when you're done. And even though we're using exactly the same technique side by side, I'm going to draw on mine and you'll see how much different they look. Yeah. Randy's going to draw on his and I'll alter mine after I stretch it. Randy and I have been doing things together for years and each of us will come up with a different process and tell one another how to do it and then we go off and we may not see each other for another year and we'll each have gone different directions with the same process so it's kind of neat. Again I'm going to go down and create that ridge and then pull it up. I'm going to apply sodium silicate to the surface now. What I'm going to do is apply a coat or two of this. And again, Randy and I will both do this and then it'll turn out completely different. Um, one of the things with this, if you use a heat gun and dry the sodium silicate, it gives you a totally different look than if you use like a propane torch. And it'll give you a totally different crackle pattern. But what you want to do is basically dry it until it doesn't come off on your hand or your finger that you'll see me rubbing there. What you'll see on this is the first stretch, you can see the cracks start to form. And then with each pass, the cracks will get more prominent. Now I'm gonna do something, the same technique, a little bit of a different twist. And what I've done is I've taken the slurry from out of this water container and some of the residual clay that I've trimmed off the wheel and I put it in a blender and I put it, mixed a little iron oxide with it and then I put sodium silicate in there and you're gonna say, oh, you're not telling us what you put in there but the point of the matter is you put a little bit, you get little crackles. You put a little bit more, you have potential to have larger crackles. Experiment with it, it will all work. You decide on what you wanna do with it. But what uh, you'll find, the thicker the sodium silicate the bigger the cracks, right. and, and the drier the sodium silicate, the bigger the cracks. And like, I'm gonna sit here now with this heat gun, you can see how nice and, and consistent Don's are. I'm gonna sit here and dry this for as much as maybe five minutes. Right, I didn't dry mine very much, but it's gonna have a really yeah. fine crackle pattern on it. Enough to where this is gonna be very hot to touch. You can see it's a real nice heavy cream Man, the first time I ever did this, I got so friggin' excited. I bet you I didn't go to bed for two days. I was just looking for stuff to do. Smeared that stuff all over Kathy and let it dry. That's even. right, I did. Right. <laughs> she aged 40 years. 40 years. Yeah, that's a good, nice coat. And uh, it's got a really rough texture. And I'm going to come back. And I'm going to dry it considerably to touch, to where I can touch it. And then I'm going to come back with my rubber nipple tool and start drawing patterns and rhythms on it. And we'll get a close-up and it'll just, instead of it tearing through, it gives a really soft edge, a beautiful soft turn back in. And then as you expand, it's exaggerated and it goes from something very real looking to something that's so abstract you have to really hunt to find any any reality at all. Now you know most people you know like drawing on these vessels and, and putting all these patterns and, and textures it's second nature to me because I'm always working in a dimensional form but some people really have a hard time working in the, in the, the dimensional aspect and I never even think twice about it. I know Don doesn't think twice about it either you just get accustomed to going in the round. 
and things begin to flow. They really begin to work. So I'm going to start stretching this out a little bit. I've thrown two pots without an air bubble now. I, I threw one. With an air bubble. One and one without. <laughs> one without. But you can see how different it is when you use color. And you don't just have to use like red iron. You can use rutile. You can use cobalt. You can use all these different colors, stains and slips. And you, get, you start beginning to build this wonderful surface uh, on the surface. I mean, this wonderful textured surface. Uh, that goes from small compressed crackles to where right here, right along here, I have to be very guarded. This one seam right here is controlling how much further I push out. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to push the pot until I get a really fine crack in it. And I want to zoom in and I want you to be able to look in that because it's not going to lose any integrity in the pot. It's just going to be a little entrance to say, whoo, look how thin I am, or look what you can do, you know, so. Well, I'm gonna alter this one with the little rubber nipple. Oh, are you? Except with a little firmer rubber nipple. Yeah. And I have a tendency to just do it on, on one stroke instead of layering like Randy does. And I'll practice. Would you say esprit de corps? Would esprit that be a definition? De corps. What the hell does that mean? It talks to me. I don't know what it <laughs> says. Woohoo! That's where now I know that works. doesn't mean a lot to anybody unless you've really worked at throwing thin, and to have a little hole come through there. You can look with the camera in the in the side. Watch when it see. You'll see it back again. It'll come right around, here. right down at an angle there. You mm -hmm. see the little light spot. Where to go? Just a minute. It'll come around again, and I'll stop it next time. Stop. Nope, you went too far. Yeah, see the little hole in there? A lot of times I use the darkness of the interior to determine where the holes are, and I'll get three or four little holes all through the pot, which re reaffirms that the pot is not a functional piece. It's only an, uh, uh, it's only, it's going to be a part of something. Actually, you'll let the air bubble determine where the hole is, won't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.